I'm on the edge. One, two, three. That's it. We found the perfect sign for Stacy. So I figured she would be kind of happy with them. So got those for mom. I got some. My sister loves me bringing M and M's back to her. My older sister. So I'm Stacy. I'm John. And this is. Friday morning. It is Friday. What's the date today? The date. The day or the date? Date. Date. Monday 16, Sunday's 15. 13th. It's Friday the 13th. <gasps> no. Apparently it's Friday the 13th. If I knew that I wouldn't have got out of bed. <laughs> um, you just have to excuse the crackling in my voice at the moment. We're not sure whether I have the start of a chest infection or whether it's just because I choked really badly this morning on my coffee so we know I need to have a nib done treatment done but we're just holding off on that at the moment because we want to get to his mum's and do that I don't want to do it in the car if I can help it I'm not overly struggling to breathe so it's not an emergency treatment I need to do it's just a treatment so John is going to go down the road here to not done it's in all in the same shopping complex um forget we're in america down the road in england it's literally down the road um he's going to a place down here to see if he can renew his american driving license that ran out two years ago no a year and a half ago uh because it hasn't run out two years ago he may be able to and i'm going to go to michael's which is the craft store here kind of like our hobby craft um so why is he renewing his driving license that's a big question he is renewing it so that we can get a wheelchair accessible vehicle when we come back in september because we will be here for six weeks and all this transferring and sitting in this seat it's too much for me it's too much for john to keep transferring me and taking the wheelchair apart and taking the wheelchair in and out and because we're coming back to do to help mum clean the house it, it's just too much and if we can take one thing that's just wasting our energy away and making us sick and weak it will help us achieve the other thing so and I mean, we were kind of fighting against it with her mum because mum was like really wanting to pay for us to have the wheelchair accessible van and we were worried because it's going to be like a thousand dollars more. But she's really keen for us to have it because it means when we go out to like the fairs and stuff in September, the, they will, she can come with us. So, um, that's, you know, it, it, it's her choice to make and we, you know, we can only advise and... In a lot of ways, me and John are kind of happier about it in some ways because it will be easier for us, but we would have struggled through. Um, but at the same time, we're kind of glad that mum really does want this. So, And I think it's because she's seeing how much it's strugg we're struggling. So, yeah, I'm going to go check out Michael's. John's going to go sort his license out and then we're heading off to mum's. And what are we doing at mum's today? I gotta finish, I gotta sort a load of paperwork out into drawers for her. John's gotta fill out a form for her to post. He's also gotta help Uncle Gary. No, he's gotta help Uncle George with something with your Uncle George's tablet, computer tablet. 
um, and there was something, oh Pastor Tom's come in because we found some things for Pastor that need to go back to the church um, when we were cleaning out the dining room so lots to do today and then Sunday we're hoping to go out have a day to ourselves to go out because we need that we're you know we're tired but we need time to ourselves and then Sunday we need to take mom to sort flowers out for dad's grave we're not going to worry about the gravestone for dad's grave until we come back in September because it can't go down anyway until the ground settles so in September when we come back we're going to deal with the gravestone and other things that need finalizing to do with dad um but yeah i'm just really tired now i'm exhausted and so is john and i think we're both at that point where we want to go home to our own beds i'm just saying we're both tired and exhausted we're at that point we want to go home to our own beds yeah. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I have my nose. Right, I'm getting in my chair. Let's see if you can watch this. It's amusing. I don't know if you'll see. Taking a blanket with me. Uh oh. Right, I'm on the edge. One, two, three. That's it. She's in chair. I'm in chair. That's why I'm getting twisted in the chair, though, is because we're going in on the yeah. sideways. So, if you can imagine. Every time we need to get in and out of the car, John has to get these hefty ramps, put them out the boot, over there. My chair seating comes off the base. He has to get the base off. He has to get the seating off, out, and then he has to get both put back together and vice versa to get me in. And it's just hard work on both of us. You know, transferring is hard on me. But it's also hard on John because he's literally lifted me and yeah, it's really hot out here so I'm going to go into Michael's. Trump. We found the perfect sign for Stacy. Just the perfect sign. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll have a safety pin. What the hell do I want a safety pin for? I'll keep the coffee. <laughs> Oh my goodness. We're trying to find things for Thanksgiving. Here's coffee. Wow. Not actual coffee, but. No, it's like a, um, you have to help me now, I'm stuck. We're trying to find some things while we're here to take back for Thanksgiving because obviously in England, we can't get Thanksgiving things very easy. And we still celebrate Thanksgiving in England. So we're just trying to find a few things to decorate the home at Thanksgiving a little bit. Because right now we have nothing. And let's have a look what we've found so far. A little sign in all give thanks. In all things give thanks. A metal one saying give thanks. This one should last years because it's metal. And then I found these two cute little birds that go together, little robin birds, but in autumn colours. So that's kind of all we got for Thanksgiving at the moment, so. Salt and pepper pot for your mum, how much? $10. What, salt and pepper sugar? Let's wait and see what we can find back in England. She'd prefer something from England, wouldn't she? So there is loads. But I'm having to be really careful because obviously I'd like lots, like some pumpkins and things like that, but we have to be aware of weight going back on the plane. So 
So it's all the way up here. And this is just one aisle. <laughs> What's cute? What are they? Measuring cups. Ah! The measuring cups. Cute. It's been a really long day today and I'm exhausted and I am quite chesty still but we're just going to see how we go. I don't want to start the antibiotics if I don't need to and I don't feel I need to so um, <coughs> we, what have we done today? We didn't manage to catch Pastor Tom, we took too long, oops, but we got John's American driving license sorted so that's brilliant. That means we can get a proper wheelchair accessible van when we come back in September. Um, and we will fully explain everything when we get home so it all makes sense. And seeing as most of these vlogs aren't going to make it up till we get home, that kind of cool. It will work out. Um, I'm starting to get things ready to start packing to come home. But I'm so tired, I am going to have a bath in a minute and... John's going to cook some tea as well and we're going to get, I say an early night but it's already nearly 9 o'clock so it's just been a long day. We did spend some time with John's mum, finished off putting the last bits away in the dining room so we got her whole dining room clean and sorted, organised, she's got new rugs and some new drawers to organize all our paperwork and things and a new safe to keep things safe and it looks really smart in there but we only got one room done because there's a lot of work that needs doing in each room that we will continue doing when we come in September as long as, as well as other things we need to do like we need to sort the graveyard out as in we need to get dad's gravestone and we need to do a few other things we still have whole box of dad's medication it is now ready to just take to the police station and go I sat this morning and with these bags that have charcoal in and put all the medications between the three bags that need destroying the liquid ones and the um, high dose sedatives painkillers all that kind of stuff um, and um, scary how much they actually had and how much they had on repeat as well but yeah I don't think I even want to go into that um but we've destroyed them and added water to make warm water to make the charcoal activate and then sealed them back up they're in there and they're ready to go and we're going to drop them off we're hoping that the station will be open on Sunday so um, <clears throat> today, John's mum got worried about a bill when we were in Walmart just around from her, so we waited there for her to get there. We are picking up some things for us to have tea tonight, and we just left hers, but... So I said to John, well, while we're waiting, we might as well pick up what we need to pack. And it was quite funny, because Uncle George asked us what we were going to take home with us, what we can't buy in the UK, and what we tend to take home and we weren't really sure how to answer because we know what we normally take home but we didn't know what we could afford to take home this time um and i always like to take something home for my sister and for my mum so i made sure i got them first and then we, we did we managed to get a few little bits and bobs for ourselves um so we've got all that today and i got some stuff in my course as well uh, which I'm really chuffed with because some of it was Thanksgiving things that I really really wanted we have no Thanksgiving decorations yet um, they're not easy to get in the UK obviously so I got a couple of little things and I'm going to show you all what I got what I'm bringing back to the UK so let's go through them da -da! this is some of it <laughs> okay so I got these for my mum because she loves um, jelly beans and I picked these ones out because they say made in the USA so I figured she would be kind of happy with them so I got those for mum I got some my sister loves me bringing M&M's back to her my older sister so I got her some coffee nuts peanut butter ones and caramel ones 
but mum says she's decided to my sister's decided to go on a diet so I figured I better not get the massive packs I normally buy her um John has picked some as well he bought got peanut butter and mint I'm sure I bought mint before for my sister so I didn't get mint ones I'll check with her and if I didn't I will bring some of them back <coughs> when I come back in September but yeah they were what John picked out chocolate ways to take back these are my most favorite American chocolates oh, wrong side. these ones so I bring a bag of them back every time oh come on hands uh, um, um, um. Teddy Graham's. I really love Teddy Graham's and I like the honey flavoured ones. Now normally I've always, never, till this time I never saw them in these little packets. These have got 12 little packets in. There used to be a massive big box of them and I never got through them quick enough. Once you'd opened them they kind of, you had to eat them quite quick or they'd go off funny. But these stay fresher for longer because they're all in individual little packs so this works really well for me because I'm I eat my stuff really slowly unlike John who eats them really quickly um so we're taking a box of them home oh no we're taking two boxes because mum put two in the trolley <laughs> um me and John love these biscuits and we have not found them anywhere in the UK so we have a milk chocolate version we have mint and we have salted caramel we have not tried the salted caramel but we know we like salted caramel so we should like them obviously Thanksgiving is in November and we always like to make sure we have uh, cornbread for Thanksgiving so I have I think I picked up four of these and then I have two of the honey cornbread and John likes to take some cornbread in to work at Thanksgiving as well and then I know you can get some of sort of, some sorts of things like this in the UK but not they're normally sweet flavored and they're normally really expensive um, so we picked up a few to try and this one was garlic and parmesan and you put it on your popcorn and then we got a bacon and cheddar flavor a butter flavor and then we found this kind of syrupy style one which is just called drizzle brittle and it's for caramel flavor so before we give them a try and see how they go, we keep them in an hour about buying these on Amazon, but they're so expensive we've never done it. So if we like them, we'll pick up some more in September. Um, oh, and fabric. I found, you'll probably see a bag made of this fabric on the back of my wheelchair quite often. Um, a friend in America had actually made it for me and I found some more material because I have, she made me two and both the bags I have worn down two next to nothing so I'm hoping to be able to recreate the bag she made me um, I bought two yards of the fabric huh. don't know why the card more turned off but yes I found this in the store so I bought this for my sister the ABC book because she asked me to make one for Christmas and I didn't have time so um, I bought these and I'm gonna put these back for Christmas for my sister and John found this as well which is a it's a really soft Ball. it's made of material and then stuffed with toy stuffing and it's a, a one of the world so I thought she could use that in the classroom play games with the kids and stuff like that so she's got a birthdays ABC banner earth ball and the cool poster of how to behave in the classroom um, so my younger sister will love that and we're gonna put that away for Christmas for her then I said I got Halloween, not Halloween, sorry, Thanksgiving. Um, so obviously the whole thing of, give, of Thanksgiving is to give thanks. So um, this was this is a sign that says, in all things give thanks. And it's really cute. Um, it's designed, you could just sit it up somewhere or you could put it on the wall. Um, I just think it's, it's really cute. It's really nice. <clears throat> it's very autumn -y colors. And I wanted some sort of decoration that I could put on the side 
in a kitchen or somewhere and so I found this one and it says farmers market locally grown fresh pumpkins it's pumpkin color so it's kind of autumn colors and then I found a whole load of different kind of autumn flowers leaves pumpkins berries um, to fill it up with and I sat there in the store filling it up to see how it looked and it did look pretty awesome when I fiddled with it and I mean that's just it with me just throwing it in and not setting it up properly it looks pretty cute and I thought that was a cool decoration and then I really wanted a turkey because obviously Thanksgiving it's got to be turkey and this is all made out of natural things so you've got a big big um oh a pine cone and then this is all kind of straw and string and on the bottom it's made of le got leaves and the back leaves and it's just amazing I'm gonna have to really make sure I look after this one because it will fall apart after a few years if I don't look after it but it was just beautiful and it will sit quite nicely flat against something because of the back so beautiful decoration so free decorations for Thanksgiving we finally have some Thank you for my coffee. So that made me super happy to be able to get some Thanksgiving decorations. And I'm probably going to try and get some in September as well. I got myself some paints because I tried using some watercolours recently. And it was kind of fun to play with them. So I thought I'd try some proper watercolours, not the little palette thing I had. And these were only $5 a pack. Um, so... Oh, you throwing my pills on the floor again and oil paints I'm not sure what oil paints are like working with so I thought well it's $5 I'll give it a try I mean $5 in UK money what's that about $3 maybe yeah so this is, these were about £3 each equivalent $5 so about £3 each so I was like yeah I'll buy them because you would not get them that cheap in England at all and then I found this brush set this amazing beautiful brush set no Emma we're not putting arms up sorry uh? I wonder where Emma was so wonderful she's yarn Emma Emma yeah oh I don't have the money to get her any maybe in September we can bring her some back most times she's come over here from um, to Florida. She's already stocked up on, on yarn. Oh, and Florida I, would be more expensive as well than here. But I think she, I think she already stocks up. There, there's something she stocks up on for crafts. We'll have to ask her, and we can yeah. get some when we come over. So yeah, I bought this set. Oh, meds. Thank you. Because I needed some that were just for painting for the oils in this dedicated just painting but I wanted to make sure they didn't get mixed up in my other ones so this comes in a proper little case um, now these were f these are in England you'd probably pay about 25 35 quid for something like this we paid $15 which well if five dollars is three pounds about three pounds we paid about nine pounds for this nine pounds and 21 brushes and a case pretty amazing beautiful natural hair brush set as well natural hair so these will be beautiful and really really nice to work with with the paints and the other thing we got me was a we, we only paid five dollars for this we didn't want to fork out for a big thing um of paper so that um i could try the watercolors because obviously you need the good paper for watercolors I wasn't using a good piece of paper when I tried to do watercolors last time so just a little something to add to my art collection so I can make some more pretty things to sell um and that's it that, that's oh no one other thing so the boxes I made for John's mum and John for memory boxes, when we got over here, unfortunately, they started to get sticky. The sealer wasn't good enough. So the English sealer I use wasn't strong enough in the American heat. 
But interesting, Mod Podge have their own sealer. I've, I've never seen this in England. Now they do it in three different types. They had extra glossy, matte, and then this um, this one is just glossy. And I went for the glossy one, not the extra glossy and not the matte. I tend to always go for glossy because I like the, I like the shine. I had to get it anyway to do John's mum's box and yeah so I'm taking it home with me I'll see how I get on with it because might have to ask mum to keep sending me care packages of Mod Podge gloss which she's already aware of <laughs> and John bless his heart he just filled in this form for me which is my hair donation form so that I can put, pop that in with my hair so that we can post that on Monday with the other boxes that are ready to go so we have to wait till Monday because if we posted them today they would be stuck in the f post office the whole weekend so that would be kind of sucky um, especially seeing as I've got chocolate in one um, and English sweets in another so yes we will post them Monday and now with the donation forms done the hair can go too and hopefully they'll make some nice wigs out of my hair for children with cancer so that will be cool nice to know it's going to be good because it bugs me for long enough <laughs> so i'm going to call it a night here again it's probably going to be a really short vlog vlog and i'm sorry we are so super busy we've been so super busy and um, right now i'm super tired but i want to have an early night ish we want to have a bath john's going to cook we're going to have a bath i'm going to have a bath but he has to bath me, that's why I say we have to, um, we're having a bath. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, okay, so John's got a cookie, salmon and vegetables. We cheered, we brought, once we could do it in the microwave so we can make it easy and quick tonight. Bath and sleep, and then tomorrow we're going to the Science Museum and you guys are coming with us. So we will see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining us in our crazy world. Bye!